And welcome back to what should be the final episode of uh, the base game of CrossCode for the long run. We have finished the ultimate elemental puzzle presented in Floor 4. And then, um, whatever his name is, Blueface Dude, decided... Let's not bother with all of these other floors. Let's just go directly to the top. So, let's do that. Oh, hi. At least it kind of turns around very slowly. Let's get rid of this guy as quickly as possible. It is, it is the biggest threat. Still not done. Oh, you just healed yourself. Awesome. Well, you're dead now. Three left. the six, which means it's gonna throw everything at us. Ow. Roll the five, which means it did nothing. So here we are, the top floor. I suppose we reached the top. Nothing else left. We seek the ultimate experience. Everything changed when we met you. Once an empty vessel, a caged bird, now back again, whole and free, filled with boundless resourcefulness, born out of hope. You are the one, the player we desired, and thus, the ultimate experience shall begin. On guard. We're starting a bit on the familiar side, except that this time we're um, much better equipped. You do not disappoint. I 
think I missed the proper key there. Yeah, he's missing ice. I think we had to do the opposite of what he's missing. Maybe not. I don't understand what you're looking for. We desired. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that definitely did a lot of damage. Not enough to get to the next uh, block, but uh, ow. Yeah, I don't understand why you're not breaking it. Through spikes of freezing ice. Is that my cue to hit? Prevailed. Ow, ow. So what do I hit with? Okay. So I hit with op with uh, opposite of the uh, the blanks uh, circle this time through thirst through turrets of thunder. I don't know how I managed to perfect block that. You prevailed. Oh, 
somehow managed to make it through that one. Um... Yeah, like I spotted that one of the orbs is empty. It's just that I wasn't sure if I was supposed to hit with that empty one or the opposite of the empty one. And for a second there, both answers seemed to be incorrect. But I think it is the opposite of the empty one. Two swirls of burning fire. Prevailed. Dang it. Okay, blue, so I need to hit it. Fire. to fall, but whatever. Through a barrage of vibrating bullets. The one worthy of the ultimate experience! Ah... Uh, ow. Whoa. Okay. So the ultimate experience is a bunch of lasers that I can do very little about. The real experience begins now. High into the sky we shall rise. Searching for the ultimate experience, it has brought us together to this place. So it shall all be concluded with one final duel. He's an elephant. Um. Okay. Pretty obvious cue to hit there.
Oh, okay. You're a little excited. I think actually the best thing to hit the trunk with is unusual. Uh, how's my SP? Here. I... Oh, okay. Oh, another pretty excited ability there. Sandwich. to rise further beyond. Ridiculous HP buff. So you want to play that game again, Gotham. Leah, destroy the orbs to increase your attack. be worth actually trying to do damage, but uh, it is going to be worth working on that break. Oh dear. What is this? Uh, um, oh, now I see what I was supposed to do. There we go. doing enough damage to... Yeah, there we go. And it's probably gonna buff his HP even more. situation. Um. a little hard to uh, to figure out. There we go. We're not doing enough damage still. Alright. 
Well, go around then. So the, the faster we do that, the less strength it'll have. And definitely having fire on for this is going to be our best buff to protect us from fire. Oh, what is this? Oh. Probably to indicate the fact that we are actually strong enough. Yeah, we can't affect these uh, these orbs anymore. That took it down a peg. And that took it up a peg. Uh, I think it's on wave? Yeah. Whoa. That's your deal. Breaking it here. Wasn't too bad. And due to all the now this might be a slight problem, because due to all the damage that we did in that last round, we were able to take it down this round which means we're probably not as powered up as the game is expecting us to be. This could cause issues. We'll see what happens. Actually, what's probably best to try to avoid damage is to be on... Um, to be on shock unless it needs us to be on wave. that orb.
back to neutral. Okay, we're at max we're at max power. Um That didn't hit his face. Oh that is dick. Okay, so we've done all four elements. What do you have left? Okay, all four of them. Also turn on fire. And turn on ice. Oh geez. We're just getting everything all at once, aren't we? Not just everything at the same time. I just noticed that the top right it shows our um our, it shows the HP multiplier and our attack multiplier. I didn't notice that before. Anyway, they're equal now. I'll just finish it off with neutral. Numbers go up. How do I get up there, the game? Just in a completely different sense. And thus. The experience is over. Our desire has been fulfilled. Our purpose has been served. Um. Trigger warning: suicide. I hate to. I hate to spoil it. But I'm gonna say it just so you have the time to tune out if you need to. Gotham, what are you doing here? Are you insane? Not on the instantmatic instruction. Stop this. Congratulations. You beat the challenge, and I gave you my word. Use the teleporter over there, and bring him right to the server. Sergei, he is with you now. I'm glad. Gotham, from this day on, I'll 
all disappear. Melanie Wasteland, the designer, my creations, my work, all gone. But I'm glad, after causing all this misery for so long, finally, it is over. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, please tell everyone that I'm sorry. No, do not say that. Leah, you have to stop him somehow. Wait! It's time for me to log out. Gotham, no! the server. Nothing I can do here. Fixing the issues following the crash is beyond me. And access to the, to the environment server remains blocked. Despite what just happened. Why? Gotham. It's very unfortunate. Why? This is on you, Sidwell. I didn't expect to have. I didn't expect this to happen either. Why? Because of this business. Because it went on for too long. And that's why it happened. That is what you believe, anyway. Of course, this was not intended. It was you who pushed him into it. To be frank, I'm almost surprised this venture went on for as long as it did. Let's be honest, this whole interrogation program was not exactly a stable business model. Yet all things considered, it was a success. How? How, you wonder? Well, how could I possibly consider all of this a success? Maybe I just wanted to keep a highly advanced AI technology away from the public, delaying the inevitable impact that it would have on today's society. Wait, <laughs> of course not. It was just very profitable, really. Confidential information can sell incredibly well if you know the right people. I'm joking now, are we? Well, in the end, the power of empathy foiled my plans. Everybody fighting for the well-being of Evotars. And now that the secret is out and so many players know about it, there's no way for me to continue. Honestly, there wasn't even any point in waiting for you to storm this place. By the time you managed to escape the Evotar ground, I knew it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to run this business for much longer. Yet, it felt wrong to end things right away. I was curious. I wanted to know how you'd attempt to reach the server. That's why I decided to wait. A decision I now regret after what happened to Gotham today. I'm sorry. Anyway, this business is over. Time to move on. Bye. You remember, don't you? The time we spent together in that room in Vermilion Wasteland? Those days are strange indeed. Part of me hoped that things would have stayed that way. That you'd remain oblivious to the truth. And then there is the other part. I was glad that you escaped. That you traveled the whole playground. Saw other places. It certainly was nice watching you out there. Farewell, Leah. What the hell? Leaving just like this? 
You took three people, their talents, their dreams, and you pushed them into your criminal schemes. How dare you even call this a business? How dare you wa just walk away like this? Damn it. Leah, it is time. Let us secure the data, Leah. Hi. Yeah, you're back. It's Vermin to Leah. Have you returned victoriously? It did it work? Yes, we did it. We recovered backups for all evil towers I found on the server. Satoshi, Lucas, they're all safe. Meanwhile, it looks like Sidwell gave up on his business. He logged out and disappeared. And what about Gotham? What happened? I'm sorry, Gotham. He committed suicide within the dungeon compound. What? It happened so quickly, and there was nothing we could do to stop him. Shizuka, I'm sorry. No. That idiot. Now of all times. Why would he do this now? Day after day, playing his stupid god figure. Preparing those interrogations, I just thought he didn't care anymore. It was the one thing I never considered. But it was him who took on the heavy burden. Handling the worst parts of Sidwell's business. He must have lost control a long time ago. This was it. A long journey was about to end. So, uh, Sergei? Yes? Now that you've gathered the Iwatars, what's next? Well, I have to get in touch with Entertainment and explain the whole situation. And hopefully we can- we'll be able to cro to create a proper future for Iwatars that way. So, what will happen with the NL? I'm afraid I cannot afford to keep her in the game for much longer. I'm not allowed to do that in the first place. I really should not break company rules while I, while I try to discuss the matter with them. But there's no need to lock her out right away, no? We can at least play together for a little longer, we? I suppose there's no reason to rush things now. What are we waiting for, then? Off to the playground! It all began when I said... It all began when I said set out to find my long-lost colleagues, my old friends. Back to where our journey started. I know, these enemies are kind of a joke, no? I mean, if we didn't have the boosters enabled, that is... Sure, now they are. I bet you got beat up plenty by those hedgehogs in the be- by those hedgehogs in the beginning. No, not at all. Those hedgehogs were easy peasy, right, Leah? Leah. Right. I forgot how pre well prepared. Uh, I forgot you were well prepared thanks to my amazing tutorial. Sure. Back then, she was the only clue I had. That is why I put her into the game. Cold, cold Bergen Trail? The first mountain for every seeker to conquer. And it's filled with cute, cute little frog bunnies. And I still feel bad about beating up so many of them. Now, now, Jorn. These little bunnies might seem cute, but they can cause a lot of havoc as well. Have you ever heard of the Great Frobbit Plague? How? Ugh. That is some history I do not want to hear, thank you. I only wanted her to remember. No matter what happened, tell me where I could find them. Finally, our party reached the blooming oasis to the east. A maroon tree in, in all its majestic glory was but within a stone's throw. Leah. Wait! Indeed, the soothing breeze and calm waters were inviting for a little break. Alas, there was no time to waste. We had to continue on our journey. 
Why? Jumps into the water. And so we kept playing. Traveling the playground. Opening, hoping for memories to return. Back in the jungle. By the way, Leah, one thing I was wondering about. Back when you explored the jungle together with Grasshead, how often did you lose sight of him? What do you mean? Just look at your hair! It blends perfectly with the grass and plants of this place. This is nonsense. Oh, we? So, how often, Leah? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I lied to her to keep go and to he keep her going, protecting her from the truth. Yet over time, I noticed this growing feeling of guilt. Savage man, good times. Played this part together with Lucas. A trial of patience was the best. We did the challenge in parallel, and I kept miscounting on purpose. <laughs> Lucas failed it like three times. <laughs> That's funny. Well, he finally did it on his fourth attempt, because he kept pushing me into the pond whenever the bamboo tipped. Ouch. Eventually, I understood what's going on. She was more than a mean student. I finally realized that I had found a new friend. Too bad that Ivan didn't have the chance to meet him. Why? Oh well. Let's just say he's well connected with his team. I'm sure he would have been excited about Evo Tars. Unfortunately, he just left for a business trip. No chance to meet him anytime soon. Oh, were you just talking about Ivan? No. Come on, I want to meet him already. Forget it. Bet he's amazing at barbecues, being a proper stakeholder, and I'll go away. Then before I knew it, before I knew it, it was already time to say goodbye. Oh my, what a lovely hideout! Yep, certainly beats our small headquarters. Well. We had the connections after all. So, time has come. I'm not sure what what else there is to say other than thank you very much for everything. I could not have done it without your help. I Mainly, mean, don't mention it. We serve justice where justice was due. Sage, you will be back, right? Please promise me she will re she will return. I unfortunately cannot give you that promise. I, mean, I can only promise that I will try my very hardest to make that happen. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you so much. Bye. You have to return someday. It has to happen. Goodbye, Shay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Leah. <laughs> Finally, I can witness that infamous hug. Whoa! Bye! See you around, Leah. Bye! Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. And let us hope we will meet again. Experiments are Leah! Yeah. Alright. Farewell, Leah. Bye. Now please unhand me. <laughs> Goodbye, small one. Now wait, this is awkward. Bye! Bye, Leah. Seriously, just how touchy can you even get? Bye! This is my cue. Good night and sweet dreams, Leah. Now it is up to me. Make sure we can meet again. I'm gonna skip the credits because, like I said, there are two endings. We'll watch the credits after the second one. I guess we can't fully skip the credits. We have to scroll by quickly, which 
fair, some people might be, um, some people might be finishing the game for the first time and trying to skip through the credits because they are not respectful of the people who make this game. And this game deserves mad respect. All of these people, these are the last minute heroes. I, I don't... I don't really know how close it was, like, down to the wire that, um, the Kickstarter might have been. He had a point. Those cliffs really do not make any sense. A few months later. I'm here! Did he call already? Not yet, dear. We're still waiting. You should contact us any minute now. Hello, everyone. Good day, Saga. Has been some time. How have you been? Bonjour! Let's cut to the chase. What about Leo? We tried our best. But we could not convince them. I'm sorry. We were Tars officially banned. What does this mean? I'm not allowed to let Leah back into the game. Nor was I allowed to keep any of the data of, of the Evo Tars. No. I'm so sorry. You reached a dead end. So, this is basically the screen that you would save at when you finish the uh, main content. And it gives you two options. If you got the good ending, and you bought the DLC, Back to the Future is locked away. But if you got the good ending, and you bought the DLC, you can take this path to move on to Chapter 11. Or, regardless of the situation, you can take this path and return back to the beginning of chapter 10, just after meeting Satoshi. And we get to skip the final raid and dungeon. So. Um, still got an hour left in this part. We're gonna skip pretty much all of the dialogue because we've already seen it. Um, so, prepare yourself for re-entering re Vermilion Wasteland, okay. So what we gotta do, and it's been hinted at multiple times. So remember how, um, how Al was having a meeting with one of the stakeholders of Institutement? Well, we gotta go crash that party. Hmm. Now, if I can remember how to get there. Oh, okay. Um, I sort of remember, I just don't... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Hi! Oh, good day, Leah. Having a stroll around Rama Square. Oh, who are you? 
A new member of the First Scholars? Yes, she just joined a couple of weeks ago. Well then, I hope you're enjoying Crosswell's young lady. Nia. Oh yes, I'm Ivan. Nice to meet you. Actually, something quite peculiar about her. It seems her speech module isn't working. Well, it isn't. She just said her name, though, didn't she? I believe she's using some kind of workaround that allows her to say a few words. Hi, bye, ow, why, sorry. This is very strange. I suggest you contact support, but if you already have or rely on a workaround like this, the problem must really be persistent. You think there's anybody you could talk to about this? Not really. I'm un unfortunately out of touch with the development department. I expected it much. There was that one time that where I tried to promote some research projects to integrate upcoming AI technologies. I talked some, uh, to some of the engineers back then, but it wasn't met with a lot of enthusiasm, so I gave up on it. It's really a shame. I heard that incitatement cut down on the R&D department in general, didn't they? It's pretty much the case, yes. Why? Business is going well enough, and most, most shareholders want to avoid the risks as much as possible. Incitatement has lost much of its much of its enough to spark these days. Oh, is it that late already? It's time for me to go. Anyway, it was nice to see you again, Albert. Until next time. Sure, just let me know when you have some free time again. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Well then, I have to leave as well. Goodbye. Bye. Who is that person? He seems to be closely involved with ins with instantaneous. What was his name again? Ivan? No way! That must have been Mr. Vestro- uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Vestro- Vestorvik. He is a shareholder of Incitainment. I can barely believe this. He was su he is supposed to be such a busy person that he was here he was talking casually with Albert. Yeah, this is huge. Mr. Vestorovich, and he has been active in the field of AI for some time now. I tried to get in touch with him back when, Sato when Satoshi was still in Satan, but we never had any luck. However, since Albert seems to personally know him, we might get our chance to meet him. I am 100% positive he would be thrilled to learn about Evotars. So now we just have to reach Albert and ask him about it. How? That is the tricky part. Remember the hologram projector in the meeting uh, the meeting room of the first caller HQ. HQ. Ah. Getting tongue tied here. Drink of water. Rise again. If we can per if we can meet him personally there, I might be able to talk to him directly. It looks like he's still online. I'll just head to the meeting room and see if he is close by. Might not be online for much longer, so I guess let's um, head over there immediately. Because the moment he logs out, it's gonna be a problem. Hmm. Albert isn't here. Maybe upstairs? Look up here either. Should we try to contact him via D Link? Hi! Hello again, Leah. Is something the matter? Something about me? Something about you? Something between us? I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for a guessing game, Leah. Please try to discuss this with someone else. That did not go too well. Remember, we don't have meat and thanks yet. Sorry. Let us be more persistent. Just call him again. Come on, I know you can do it, Leo. Hi. Get out ready. Sorry. Are you just calling me again to say sorry? It's fine, just don't call me again, thank you. Wait! Uh -huh. 
Well, yeah, I know it is unpleasant, but try to be more assertive. The future of Iwatars may very well depend on this call. Leah! Hi! Leah, enough already. Wait! Wait! Is this something important? You can't discuss this with anyone else. Oh, bother. What should we do then? Should we meet in person? In Crossworld, I mean? Alright, maybe that way you will get your message across. Where should we meet, though? Inside the headquarters, maybe? Good. I'll be there soon. Perfect, you did it! Mia! Now I just have to wait for him on the ground floor and try to drag him into the meeting room. Hi! Here I am. So, what do you want to tell me? Or rather, how? In the meeting room? So, what now? Yeah, I need to see the serial number of the protector again. Hello, Albert. Who are you? My name is Sergei Asimov. I am an acquaintance of Leah. Pleased to meet you. I'm sure all of this is very unexpected. Quite unexpected indeed. I'm here because I need to... Because I wanted to talk to you about Leah, her circumstances, and other things. But before that, I want, I want to emphasize that all of this is highly confidential. I need your word that you will not share this in this information with anybody else. That's fine. I can keep a secret. Alrighty then. First things first. About Leah. She is in fact not controlled by a player. Come again? Leah is controlled by an AI. Come again? AI. An artificial, an artificial intelligence. I know what it means, but it is very hard to believe. I mean, yes, she can barely talk, but she reacts very naturally otherwise. Well, it certainly does explain some of the weird circumstances from before. What about you, Mr. Asimov? What exactly are you doing here? I'm merely connected to the game to watch and support her. I see. So why is this player controlled by an AI? And why do you want to talk to me about this? It will take a bit longer to explain all the details. That is why I suggest we, we two talk about, uh, about this somewhere outside of the game. You should be able to see my contact info next to the hologram. Fine. I have to admit, you've made me curious. Alright then. Leah, I need, to, I need to log you out for the time being. We will talk again later. Bye. Until then. No dream this time. Good morning, Leah. Hi! So, things have been progr uh, progressing, su progressing surprisingly fast. I explained the situation to Albert and we got in touch with, in touch with Mr. Vestorovich. And we have ourselves an appointment. Mr. Vestorovich wants to meet you in person. He is expecting you in his mansion in Rhonda Square. Albert will pick you up by, at the Skyrail station at Ronda Square South Arch and lead the way. We should hurry. Mr. Vesorovich is a busy person. Got it. Straight to Ronda Square, then. Good day, Leo. Hi. No time to waste. Please come this way. The mansion is further down. Um, Naruto run there, I don't know. Well, I guess Leah also kinda does. Bunch of weird runs in this game. He is waiting inside. He wants, you to, he wants to find out just how advanced of an AI you really are. Well, just try to act naturally, humanly. Pretty much how you did so far. We're gonna save right here just in case things go badly. Ah, there you are. Hi! Welcome to my little mansion, Anna. It's nice to see you again. 
Leah. Ah, uh, did I get your name wrong? Right, your name is Leah. I'm sorry, my memory for names have seen has seen better days. Anyway, I'm glad you arrived safely. And it's good to see it's good to see that you managed to stay dry with all the rain outside. Why? Did I say something strange? Oh wait, I forgot. It's sunny out there, is it? Isn't it? <laughs> I probably sound like a senile old man to you, don't I? <laughs> Ouch, that was a bit too honest, don't you think? Sorry. <laughs> don't worry. I'm just testing you. I was told you are an AI. One of the most effective ways to distinguish a poor AI from a human is testing how it reacts to nonsense. And despite your lack of speech, I have to say your reaction so far seem very much human-like. I'm impressed. Anyway, let's do a little quiz. Don't worry, it should be simple. This way, please. Ladies first. Okay, Leah. Are you ready? Good. First question. Say, Leah, do you remember the first appearance? Uh, do you remember the the appearance and taste of fruits and vegetables? In that case, what's your favorite? A. Lettuce. B. Tomatoes. C. Bananas. D. Eggplants. Ah. Uh, good. Bananas, do you say? Please remember that for a moment. Um, I'm the right. Actually, let's... you wrote it down, Jill. I don't know. Now to something else. Some time ago, I had a talk, uh, long talk with an old friend. He just went on about his garden at home. Yada yada, bonsai trees, blah blah, flower, flower beds. He just kept going. And when he was done, I told him this was all really fascinating. Here's my second question. Did I tell him the truth? Alright, last question. So, remember your favorite food item? What color is, mo is most commonly associated with it? A. Red B. Green C. Purple D. Yellow The color of bananas is yellow. Sounds reasonable. Good, this concludes our quiz. And you handled this one perfectly, that's for sure. Now, you could, in fact, just be a human-controlled program mocking an AI. But Mr. Asimov proposed a little experiment to prove that you are in fact a real AI. He sent me a small program to send, uh, he gave me a small program to send you a pre-recorded message. I will send this message now. Get ready. Hello, Leah. This is a pre-recorded message. Mr. Asimov claimed you are uh, capable of receiving and understanding the full recording in a split second. That is certainly a feat impossible to humans. In the middle of a recording, it will be a simple question. Be careful not to miss it. Anyway, the weather sure is nice, isn't it? I'm just talking to, to add some padding to this recording. Don't mind me. Well, that should be sufficient. Here's the question. What is 6 divided by 2? Please remember the, it's the answer until after the recording is over. Now on to something else. Some of my peers find it rather strange that I sometimes play crossworlds, you know. They kept telling me a person in my position should have better things to do. But why should it matter what I do as a recreational activity? Plus, I feel the technology of Crossworlds is highly fascinating. Of course I do. That's why I invest in it into entertainment after all. Anyway, this is the end of the recording. Now please answer my question from before. 3. Absolutely incredible. You received a, a recording of about a minute and responded to it almost instantly. This proves without a doubt that you are indeed an AI. Pretty much the most human-like AI I have witnessed so far. Mr. Asimov, I'm honestly impressed. I'm very, I'm very glad to hear this. I'd like to meet up soon to discuss this matter in more detail. Please contact my secretary to make an appointment. I will do that right away. Thank, for, thank you for your time. Now, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to see this. And Leah, I hope you enjoyed our conversation as much as I did. How? <laughs> Quite the sassy girl, aren't you?
Goodbye, Leo. And I hope to see you again. Bye. Back again? How was it? It went really well. Mr. Vestorovic has at least seemed very intrigued. If we can convince him of the potential of Evil Towers, we might get entertainment to support the research after all. Which means we might be able to, to create a future for Evil Towers. Yeah! This is great news. Anyway, next I suppose you have to resolve this whole Evil Tower ground situation, right? Right, and we are on it. Please make sure not to tell anyone else about Leah just yet. It is important that we keep this thing secret for now. Understood? If there is anything else I can help you with, just let me know. Of course. And thanks a lot for everything so far. No problem. See you around. Bye! So, what next? Right. Getting ready to re-enter the Million Wasteland. Once, once you feel prepared, let us visit Shizuka and Satoshi again at the old hideout. We have unlocked a good ending. So... Uh, now it's just a matter of... Doing all the ending stuff again. Or... Skipping through the hard parts. Which we will be doing because it's 2.13 a.m. Ready? We sure are. Sorry for the flashing. this is really gonna change. There might be like one line of difference somewhere in all of this. But uh, I'm not gonna go sifting through it. If you really want to know like every single different line, I encourage you to play this game yourself. This time, we're just going to skip everyone except Albert. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter who we talk to, but Albert might have something different to say. Vidalia, you really are by far the most human-like AI I've ever experienced. Okay, no, it's still saying exactly the same way. Let us hope that Ivan thinks the same way. There we go. I really do hope that we'll be able to create a place for Evotars like you here in Crossroads. Thanks! Oops. However, I still can't bear to not at least interact with, uh, with Emily, because she is kind of our bestie. And here, or very soon, there we go. You want to skip ahead to the Vermilion Dungeon? Yes. You want to skip through the dungeon? Yes. Uh, 
You want to skip the final boss fight? Yes. We've just seen it, we don't really need to see it again, and we definitely don't need to see this scene again. Content warning, once again, it's got to go by real fast, but it's still going to happen. I think there's only one scene that we're going to need to actually stop and watch. And that's the one at Rhombus Square. <laughs> it was very fortunate that you spotted me together with Ivan. He really seems to be excited about Iwotars. That will help a great deal when we start the, to talk with Incitainment. And... Our good friend, the... the... the wisecrack. This time, we'll let the credits play out. Oh man, mm, big stretch. So for everyone who is still in chat, whether it's only Jewel, whether Zero's there too, whether anyone else is there, and everyone who has been here for the entire playthrough, I want to thank you all for joining me on this adventure. It's not done yet. We are going to do the DLC next. That's going to be starting next week. Ah, oh, man. I, like... I started, like... Originally, I had started playing this game as I was filling in for a friend of mine who was on vacation, uh, and I was kind of doing streams on her channel while she was away. Um... And also while she was recovering from that vacation because she broke her damn leg. But uh, that aside, um, like at the time I wasn't streaming on my own channel. I kind of wish that I was because I do kind of wish that I could have um, shared this experience with you blind because holy crap, this is such a good game. <laughs> Like, I am not kidding when I say this is one of the best games I have ever played, if not the best game. Like, it has everything that I want in a game. Like, it, it's, well, in an RPG anyway. Hey, there's Warby there. J and C word. But, um, yeah. I, ha I have been very happy to share this experience with you all. I wish that more people had been here so I can share the experience with even more people. Um, this game just deserves to be seen. It deserves to be experienced. Some people just don't, might not have the time to play this game, but uh, at least if they have the opportunity to experience it otherwise in video form, that's why I'm doing this. That, that and because I wanted to play this game again. And I've wanted, like, I've wanted to stream it the entire time, just at the time, um, things didn't really line up. 
As, as far as um, the future of CrossCode, um, like I mentioned, there was a DLC that will start be starting next week. Um, that one is four chapters long. Um, has, I want to say, two new dungeons. Uh, we'll be doing a raid again. Uh, and actually getting to the end of that raid. Not being whisked away. Well, it was on Indiegogo, not on, um, not on Kickstarter. I missed that the first loop around. Uh, yeah. So, is it one or? I think there's only the one new dungeon. This the the one that's uh, this in Sapphire Ridge that that is. "Quote unquote," currently closed. Um, there will be an all new area for us to explore, um, and I will tease you with the name of the area, which is kind of an interesting name if you consider the other things that I do. is called the Azure Archipelago. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's not too long. I think maybe two or three streams and we'll have it done. I think. I remember it not being overly long. Uh, but we will definitely need to change our gear. And Jilmara, I know your memory is really good. So if I don't remember to change my gear, which I could probably actually do after the credits uh, in the, um, the little subspace that uh, we're going to end up in, if I can just change it to something that isn't zero XP is what I'm trying to say. Because we will need to be gaining another like 10 levels or so. I don't think you need to send me 10 timed messages on Telegram, Jewel. Just remind me at the end of the credits. We'll, we'll switch out the, uh... We'll switch out the, the gear at that point, And then we won't have to worry about it next week. Yeah, just just the uh, just the infinity spiral drill. NPC dialogue contributors, which I'm sure was an Indiegogo perk. I really wish I'd have known about this game when it was out, like when the uh, the campaign was going. I would have loved to be able to fund this, but um, yeah, as far as the further future of CrossCode, um, they have announced officially there are no plans for a sequel to this game, at least not at this time. Which doesn't mean there won't be anything, like, in the future. But, um, right now they're working on a game called, or well, codenamed, Project Terra. And when that comes out, or at least maybe about a month after it comes out, um, 
I will probably be streaming that. Uh, the reason I don't want to stream it right away is because um, I do want to give indie games the chance to actually uh, spread. I might do like one video or one, like one half of a stream on Project Terra when it comes out. But um, other than that, I want people to be able to play indie games and experience them and love them and like support these smaller developers who are taking risks and making these stories that are just full of depth and like innovation and like you know that being said um i do kind of want to do a special stream in the next few days aside from the training that i need to be doing for uh super smash tv that i haven't been doing because there's a game coming out tomorrow and on that same um on that same policy that I want to apply to Project Terra, I want to apply this policy to this new game coming out tomorrow. So, uh, that's probably going to be, let's say on Friday, around the same time as I've been doing the catch-up streams for, for Brosco. Um, as for Super Smash TV, I'll do those whenever. <laughs> and I don't. It doesn't really matter that much if there's anyone watching or not. Like any encouragement is welcome. But if nobody's watching, I'm not really, um, not really down on that because I'm probably gonna suck anyway. Anyway, all that said, a few months later, things turned out a little differently this time. I'm here! Did he call already? Not yet, dear. We're still waiting. He should contact, uh, he should contact us any minute now. Hello, everyone. Good day, Sergei. It is good to see you again. It has been quite some time. Bonjour. Let's cut to the chase. What about Leo? No. I have great news to share. Incitainment agreed on a research project within the playground. We will be able to get Iwataras back in the game if, in a few months. Does this mean... Yes, Leo will return. Dear, please get off the table. A new future lies ahead of you. You're ready for the future. We're not starting that quite yet. Before the DLC came out, um, it said like in something along the lines of uh, the next chapter isn't ready yet, but um, you can save your game here and when it's ready, you will be ready for it. So, that is going to do it for the stream, and I'm going to leave it here so we can hear the music on our way out. Oh, the drill, the drill, 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 change equipment right now. Uh, what else do I have? I think this is the best other thing that we have, so change it. Save again. There. Now, we can call it here. So, um, I've already thanked you, so thank you all for watching, Joel, uh, Zero, everyone else who's um, checked out this series so far. 
The next scheduled stream is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Code Creator stream where um, I actually did a, a beta test, a, pub a public beta test of Meredith on Monday. And um, we found some bugs. So we're going to be fixing those bugs. And after that, we should be done with version 1.3 and Meredith will be ready for uh, Archipelago 0.3.0, which will be coming out in about a week and a half, I think. Around there, as long as, long as there are no major problems. Next stream after that is going to be our Sunday Super Shuffle, Sunday at uh, 7.30 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. And we're going to play something random. Um, not guaranteed to be Meredith, could be Meredith. We don't know yet. Uh, on, like I mentioned, on Friday, um, probably around 3 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, uh, we're going to have a safe mode stream, and we're going to play the game that is coming out tomorrow. Just for about two hours. Just to, just so, to get the word out there. Oh, wait, no. I actually can't. Thursday. Thursday at 3 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time is when we'll do the safe mode stream because Friday I will actually be um, at CKDU doing a live show because it's the uh, sustainer drive. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the safe mode stream is going to be on Thursday afternoon. Uh, that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next long run stream, where we will get started on CrossCode A New Home. I'm cool you if you don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and... Before I go, if you want to stick around, um, well, I'll stop the recording anyway. See you guys next time. Recording.